Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. So behind me is a 2021 Honda CRV. This is going to be a two part video series. In the first part of the video, what we're going to be doing is bulk XL PPF install on these mirrors. Now, normally you would do these mirrors in a pre cut pattern. If you've watched this channel for any period of time, you know that I hate pre cut patterns for multiple reasons. So, I'm going to show you how to take this bulk sheet of film and install it on this mirror and have better coverage than what you would get with a pre cut template. Um, these mirrors, they're not too terribly hard, but because we got this gap over here for the signal, um, this does throw a bit of a wrench in it. So, that's going to be part one. We're going to throw that video up first. Then, if we come over here, the second part of the video is we're going to go over how to do this bumper. Looking at this bumper, um, it doesn't look too terribly hard, and it's not that terribly hard, but if you come over here to these corners, um, to, get the, to get the film, the pattern, to line up perfectly around there requires a ton, of, a ton of stretch and rotation to get everything to line up absolutely perfect. So, first time I ever did one of these bumpers, um, that threw me off quite a bit. So, in this video, I'm gonna go over how to do that, and if by now you're wondering who's holding the camera, I'm gonna take the camera, and I'd like to introduce you to Tyson. Tyson's the newest employee to Reflection Automotive. Super happy to have him. So what we're gonna be doing is, he's gonna be holding the camera while I do the installs, so we're gonna get some much better shots, so much better close-ups for squeegee action and everything. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna prep this mirror. So I've got my isopropyl alcohol right over here. I've got my lint-free towel right over here. It is clean, because these things have been stained over time, so I'm not using a dirty rag on fresh, clean paint. So, with these mirrors, I'm just gonna spray the rag down. And what I wanna do is, basically I wanna get the paint good and tacky. So I'm using quite a bit of pressure over here. You hear that squeaking sound it means the paint is getting good and tacky which is going to be perfect for paint protection film so especially we want to get right in over here in this uh in this recessed edge or whatever you want to call that so i want the film to stick um the first time that i try and lay it down so to get to get the paint good and tacky that's super important So the whole purpose behind doing this is just to remove any, any uh, grease, any polishing oils, anything that may have built up on the surface. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my slip solution and I'm going to squeegee it by. I'm going to spray the mirror down. Take my squeegee. I'm just going to clean everything off in case any dust or any contaminants have landed on the mirror. Now I'm going to spray it down with slip solution one more time. Now I'm going to take the film and just going to get the adhesive side of the film wet. This is an overkill size piece of film for this install, but I'm just using up scrap film that I have lying around the shop. Now what I'm gonna do is, I got the film over top of the mirror. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and bunch the film up on the end so we got something really good to grab onto. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and form the film to the mirror. So this is just pre-stretching the film just gonna hold that there for a little bit. Now, I'm gonna pull it back. Get some slip solution on the top of the film so my squeegee will be it. Take my tack solution, and now I'm just gonna spray the whole mirror down with tack solution. And we're gonna do the adhesive side of the film as well. Now, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna stretch it into place just like so. Gonna hold that there. It's gonna slowly start to bond to the film. Now really quickly, take my squeegee 
get that squeegee down right over there. And then I'm gonna come over here. As you can see, I've got all this film over here. I wanna get that to lay flat. So I'm gonna lift the film up over here. That's not what I want. And I'm gonna stretch the film into place, just like so. This, this we don't want. I'm gonna lift it up, pull it back so it pops, just like so. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tack solution, spray a bunch underneath here, and I'm just gonna lift the film up, stretch it out, and lay it flat over the back. So, go just like that now just want to make sure nothing's popping up there we go you get more tax solution in behind the film over here I'm just gonna take and pull, pull that into place. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna pop the mirror back into place because I don't want the mirror to move around. As you can see, the film's starting to stick in place here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop the film back so that's all loose just like so and then what I'm gonna do is get a good amount of tack solution in there and I'm just gonna pull the film now I'm gonna take my knife is I'm gonna come along over here and I'm just gonna pop the knife through the film make sure I'm not nicking the side marker come over here there we go that is good I could have probably cut a little bit further but this is gonna work now, what I'm gonna do is pull all this film back, get a bunch of tack solution in there. Make sure my goblin's squeegee. I'm gonna stretch this film into place just like this, and that's gonna lay down perfectly fine. There we go. Okay, good. Now, I'll, if you look over here, I got the film, it's popped up over here, and there's quite a bit of tension on there. What I'm gonna do one more time, is I'm just gonna get some tack solution in there, fill that up. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just push all that down and it should stick into place for the most part. There's a lot of tension built up there. But now I'm gonna come behind with my squeegee and I'm gonna squeegee that down just, just like that. Okay, that's good. Now what we can start doing is we can start trimming the film. Um, I got a nice sharp blade. I snapped it off just prior to doing this trim right here. Now what I'm gonna do is, Tyson, if you wanna come in nice and close, um, just gonna follow the edge. Very, very light pressure. Just like so. I'm gonna follow the line of the mirror 
I'm gonna come down over here because we do need to do a bit of a relief cut. And make a bit of a rounded corner. And we are still golden. We're gonna come along right over here. That's good, we're gonna stop right there. And we're gonna come down here and we're gonna follow the edge of the white paint. That squealing noise is a good noise. It means you're going just far enough through. I have a feeling I'm probably gonna have to cut this again because I haven't put enough pressure on. But for the sake of the video, we're just gonna roll with it. Now I'm gonna stop right there. That's a long cut. Now, I should be able to get my fingernail in there. There is so much tension on there that that cut through just perfectly without actually penetrating the film or going through the film and into the paint. I'm just gonna peel this off. Okay, that's good. I'm come back right here. There we go. I know I didn't cut through the film and into the paint because I'm peeling this back now and I can feel the tension that's still on the film. So that is good. Now, there we go, we're gonna leave that. Now, I'm gonna take the knife again. And I'm gonna finish off this trim right over here. There we go. Well, we should be able to pull this back. Yep, just like so, good. Now if we come up over here, you'll notice we have a pinch weld right over here. So when I'm protecting these mirrors, I don't go over that pinch weld. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the knife, come right up against that pinch weld. And then I'm just gonna follow the edge of the paint making sure that I'm not going right up against the edge. So if I go right up against the edge, there's a good chance it could lift when it's being pressure washed. Nice and slow, even controlled pressure. Come down over here. There we go. Now, this peels off rather effortlessly. Now we'll come back here. The last trim we're gonna do is usually the trickiest trim. We're gonna follow the back of the pinch weld come down till here and tie it in with that cut. So, hopefully Tyson can pick this up. There we go. Now, look at that. Done. Take and dry this off. Now we have a bit of film popping up right over there. We just need to get the alcohol out of there, hold that down, and that film is going to stay in place. Okay, so that's going to basically do it for the mirror video. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to take a heat gun, I'm going to go around all the edges and make sure that uh, all the edges are down there. Actually, you know, one little bubble right there at the edge. There, go ahead, just got that squeegeed out, that's good. I'm gonna take a heat gun, go over those edges, and yeah, that's gonna do it for the mirror video. Next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bumper. So, thanks a lot for checking this video. Stay tuned for part two, the bumper. Thank you.